In 2019 at the World Championships, Shi Ziyong came out onto the platform to win the 73 kilo category with his opening attempt. But he ended up doing something incredible. He power cleaned the weight, meaning that he pulled the barbell so high with so much force and speed that he was able to catch the 190 kilos above parallel. Shi Ziyong has since made this part of his performance, wooing the crowd with his incredible lifting. What we want to know is, how does Shi Ziyong power clean so much? So what we want to do now is create a profile of his lifting and answer the question how he was able to power clean 190 kilos. It's because he's incredibly strong. It's because he's incredibly strong. But let's check that our hypothesis is right. Let's look at some of his lifts and we'll work out why he was able to do this. So Max, this lift is from Switzerland. This was actually the day that I drove me, told me. So that 200 kilos there is probably only about 70% of his, of his actual clean deadlift. It doesn't give a whole lot away. But yeah. when we look at his snatch deadlift, we start to learn a little bit more about him. Okay, so this is 230 kilos. This is, I think you would agree, a ridiculously impressive feat of what? So what's interesting here is it's, it's obviously incredibly strong. 230 kilos moves really fast, really good. Now, if we think about this lift, this was done in the training hall, what, two days before his competition? Two days prior to competing. Which to me is an indicator that he wasn't at all concerned it was gonna be fatiguing, Yeah. right? So if he was gonna be a maximum deadlift, if 230 was the absolute limit, it's really unlikely he would do that lift that close to competition just because it would make him that much more tired. I mean, 230 is basically exactly 90% of 255. Right. So, so to be doing 90% of a maximal strength lift and make it look like that yeah. means that it's unlikely that your actual max is 255. I agree. I think that if you were to, to actually be a fly on the wall in the training hall with him, my guess is he's probably done more in, in, in that exercise. It may be, maybe you know, more than 255, but possibly as high as you know, 260, 265, mm -hmm. maybe 270. Um, and I say that even though it sounds ridiculous because the speed that he moves this just does not look like it's it's that challenging, yeah. right? Uh, and then additionally, knowing that his best is, you know, his claimed best is 255, tells us just how strong, how, how physically strong he is and how much general strength he possesses. The thing we know about the power clean, we, or thing we know about strength in sports is that as the resistance of the sport, as the resistance of the object you're moving in sport increases, so as the object gets heavier, maximal strength plays a more significant role in your success. Right. So a great example or a contrast here would be, you know, throwing a baseball versus throwing a shot put. Yeah. Becoming way, way stronger isn't going to make you throw a baseball much further. No. And then even the shot put to a certain degree, getting your bench press above a certain point, you know, isn't going to make you throw the shot any further. There's mm -hmm. a limit. In weightlifting, that's generally not the case. Uh, as you get stronger and stronger, the weight on the bar can continue to go up in the, in the lifts. The unique thing about the power clean is that there's no real change of direction. Sure, there's a little bit, but it's a very small piece of the of the actual technique of the exercise. So as absolute strength climbs, we would expect the power clean to continue up with that. Right. So in Xi's case, he's become so strong that his power clean has followed suit with those incredible strength numbers. Yeah. And you have this, this guy who can walk out, opening attempt, power clean 190 kilos and crush everybody. Yeah, absolutely. So something I think would be, it would be remiss of us to not mention before we move on to him moving faster is the fact that not only does he have that 255 snatch deadlift, he has a 255 front squat. I think a lot of the athletes in his category, well, almost none of them can front squat with him, but certainly none of them can snatch deadlift with him. Yeah. It's interesting that he has this perfect balance between a snatch deadlift and his front squat, whereas normally you'd find that somebody's snatch deadlift was probably significantly lower yeah. than their max front squat. Yeah, it's a unique situation too. If you look anatomically speaking, he's a much better built to squat. Yes. Short femurs, long torso. So the fact that his back strength is, is basically almost equal to his squat strength is extremely impressive. His low back strength is, is phenomenal. The fact that he's pulling maximum weights or his maximum deadlifts or at the same level mm -hmm. as his squatting with a long torso like he does like he has, that's remarkable. Right. The fact that he's able to be so far over the bar yeah. with such a long lever 
and lift the same weight as he can in a front squat when he's got these tiny femurs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. it, it's it's insane. So that was that we just watched here, two hundred and ten kilos for a pause front squat, which again is a greater demonstration of strength than a normal front squat with a bounce. Um, the reason, by the way, we're not showing a back squat is because he doesn't back squat. He actually said that he hurt his back, injured his back training once, and since then he's only ever done front squats. So we can only hypothesize as to his back squat strength, but considering. Uh, he's got such a huge snatch deadlift and clean deadlift. Yeah. Coupled with this front squat, you'd imagine it's got to be pushing 300 kilos. Yeah, I would. I would not be surprised to know that he's he's back squat at 300 or could. Yeah. I mean, four times body weight would be 292. Yeah. I'm sure he can. He's probably right <laughs> around that. It's just an absolute ridiculous number. Okay, so we're going to look at the fastest moving of the sort of traditional lifts. It's going to be the power snatch. We'll start with a lighter version of that and 80% of his power snatch, power snatch, which is 120 kilos. So I'm assuming we can expect this bar to move faster than a snatch, a power clean, or a clean. Yeah. And as amazing as that is, it's not like he catches it ridiculously high. I've seen plenty of 73s power snatch 120. Yeah. Well, it's interesting too. You could you could almost surmise that he's not trying very hard, yes. right? If he's Probably. got 120... Uh, you know, the look on his face afterward too, it's kind of just almost like, uh, it's a little bit smug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smug is the definite, he's the definition of smug in the dictionary. Uh, <laughs> I like how he's pretending to hobble yeah. away as though he's pretending that that was a little bit exerting That's on him. Every, every hard training elite weightlifter has that <laughs> fake walk that like, oh, this is the hardest thing I've ever done. But then if we go to 150 kilos, suddenly we reach a weight where you've thinned the crowd. Fewer and fewer 73s are capable of what he's about to do right here. There are a couple of them, yeah. but suddenly he's gone from being one of a few hundred to one of maybe five in the world. And of course, at this point, the force is increasing, the speed is decreasing. Yeah. And he caught that at the exact same height. Yeah, at 150, it didn't put up any resistance, right? The, the mm -hmm. bar moved just as fast. You could probably move you know, almost any weight that fast in the pole. Uh, it, it's it's pretty remarkable to see. But it's interesting too, because he's also not necessarily built well for snatching, right? We know he's obviously built well to be cleaner. So yeah. the fact that he's able to accelerate the bar and move a, a weight that high or lift a weight like that and power snatch it with, let's say, less than ideal snatch mm -hmm. body mechanics is extraordinary. And also a quick mention, this is the third pair of shoes we've seen him wear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, these shoes were uh, Lu Zhaozhen's shoes, which he gave to him for this competition. So what we're looking at here, Max, this is the 169 world record snatch that he did at the Asian Championships just prior to the world, uh, sorry, prior to the Olympics. What's interesting about this, just a bit of context for you, is he missed every weight in the back room from 110 kilos up to his open of 160. And then he came out and hit a 169 kilo world record. <laughs> it's just worth knowing that. It's a, it's a bold strategy. It's an interesting tactic. Yeah, that looked <laughs> in, extremely strong. And I was telling you that he said to me that his best ever snatch in training was 171 kilos, which is almost unbelievable yeah. based on how that 169 looks. Bear in mind, though, that 171, he told me that back in 2019, this is 2021. Right. So it's possible that he's snatched more since. Yeah, he realized the extra 12 kilos he has in that right. lift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he suddenly realized that he might as well just snatch 180. But let's take a look at it again, because at this point, we're seeing absolutely no drop of the chest as he pulls off the floor. Yeah. We're seeing an increased amount of speed from the floor compared to other athletes. And we're really beginning to see just the strength of Xi Ziyong over, say, the speed of Xi Ziyong. Uh, accelerating him beyond everyone. At this point, also, he's moved the world record single-handedly from 164 to 169. Yeah, just unbelievable strength. I mean, he stands that up after the catch quicker than most people would stand up an empty barbell. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't have any... The resistance of the bar is basically zero compared to him. Yeah. Uh, if he wants to move, he moves, and the bar just follows, just kind of hangs there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's truly remarkable to think about his his strength numbers... And the impact they have on his lifts, right? His, mm -hmm. his power clean is massive. We know that because of his strength numbers. The snatch, it's not just that maybe the strength numbers, we know there's not a high correlation between your deadlift strength and your snatch, mm -hmm. but where you see it is just the, the, 
sort of intangible. The like you comment on how strong he is everywhere. The bar just seems like it. The res, there's no resistance, mm -hmm. right? He can do whatever he wants with that barbell because he's so strong everywhere else. Even though it doesn't necessarily drive his snatch up to 175, it's so present how strong he is yeah. when you watch these lifts. It's still very much as though he's just picking up the bar yeah. rather than having to use phenomenal technique. And the thing that separates Shizyong, as we mentioned, isn't his technique. Right. There exactly. are better technicians yeah, exactly. in the snatch clean and the jerk. It's just this incredible level of strength. So should we move now to the power clean? Yeah. And actually take a look at, at what we're talking about. So the power clean is sort of the next movement as we ascend across this increased force, decreased uh, speed. And once again, this is probably the first time we see him move into a situation where he gets into a group that is equal to just him. Nobody else in the world can do what he's just done there with that 190 kilo power clean. It's it's. Truly remarkable that he's at this level taking his opening lift as a power clean. Right. Uh, and it's just, there's room to spare. I mean, not only actually at this point has he gone into a group of just him with all other athletes in his weight category, he probably moved into a category of him against everybody who's in weightlifting. Yeah. I don't imagine there's another weightlifter alive right now who can power clean within, this is about 4% off the world record clean and jerk. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So at this point, his sort of excess of strength that we saw at the start in the front squat, the snatch deadlift, the clean deadlift is really beginning to express itself in the competition lifts once we hit this kind of power clean and beyond grouping of exercises. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at something slightly heavier. This is a full clean and jerk. This actually is a weight that he has since gone under power clean, this 194. But at the time of filming this, this was just four kilos under his world record. It was basically more than anyone else was able to do. And the ease with which he can do this, once again, it's continuing to show that as we move throughout this quick lift, a slow lift exercise order, his separation from everyone else is just continuing to grow. Yeah, it's interesting because He's not, <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting to watch because, you know, what we see on his face, what we see him do when he's moving, it, it looks very easy, yes. right? And you have to question, you have to wonder, you know, going from a 190 power clean to a 194 clean, mm. can you notice the difference? Do you no. think he notices? So no. it's a, one thing I think that's kind of worth pointing out is that we know that that we discussed before, we know that increases in absolute strength will have a positive impact on performances like power cleans because you're moving in one direction. The explosive component isn't as important when you're not having to change direction as dramatically. Mm -hmm. The snatch and the power snatch, you definitely have to change direction significantly more. So, you know, increasing absolute strength doesn't necessarily have a big impact on snatch efficiency or technique. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you just get stronger and stronger and stronger, you're probably going to drive your power clean up and up and up. Yeah. You can see the 194 power clean or the 194 clean here almost was, I wouldn't say that was that much better or easier than the 190 no, power no, clean. Wasn't. In fact, the 180 power clean looked like it might have just been like 20% easier than that was. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's an interesting observation. I think kind of maybe. To, to share advice with those watching that think, I'll just get really strong and become like she. Sure, that's, that might be one option. Yeah. But maybe just stick to the different shoes. Yeah. Maybe yeah. switch to the different <laughs> shoes there. He's got to become more efficient. He has to transfer that strength from power cleans and from, from, you know, power snatches into actual lifts that are, that are going to improve efficiency. Right. He doesn't because he power cleans enough to win. Yes. We all do because we need to get better at moving under the bar. So it's an interesting observation that, you know, if he was struggling to do, if he, if he had to do 198 mm -hmm. or 200, it might be a very different story. It's not going to come out and power clean that. Right. Yeah. And so I think we should now hypothesize as to what we think he could clean. His yeah. world record is 198. He said that he'd done 207 kilos in training in the clean and jerk. Yeah. But we know that he's limited extremely by the jerk. Yeah. If he were to be able to just continue on pushing the clean, he's got that 275 clean deadlift, which is probably moves quick with a pop at the top. He's got a 255 kilo front squat and he power cleans 194. 
I think at this point, we've got to assume that in the off season in China, peaking for a clean, yeah. he's pushing somewhere around 215. He I, might be putting the blues on. Yeah, I would say that's a, a safe bet that he could, you know. Two, 210 plus for sure, mm-hmm. 215 I think is in the cards. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, And at that point, 215, when we look at the 194 uh, power clean, that is exactly 90%. Yeah. And suddenly that whole question of how can Shi Ziyong power clean 190 kilos comes down to the fact that he's just incredibly strong and he's still just power cleaning 90% of his clean, yeah. which is what we'd expect. It's just that his clean is so far above the world record yeah. that, yeah. you know, it's it's extraordinary, but it answers the question. Yeah, he can probably clean a, a house. Yeah, <laughs> a weightlifting house. <laughs> a weightlifting house. Yeah. So we ought to mention very quickly that if you want to get this kind of analysis on your lifting and you want, you know, personalized individual programming form checks from me, Max, Josh and everybody else here at Weightlifting AI, then use code two week trial and you can join us. You get a program just for you. Uh, and well, we can't promise that we're going to make you power clean as much as she's young, but we're sure as hell going to try. <laughs>